What is up, guys, and welcome to the Visual Wood Co-op. Hello. Hello. Who are you playing with? Who are you playing with? What's my name? Um, Say my name. <laughs> Say wooden, my name. Wooden potatoes. Is it, you're you like, goddamn like like right. You like Sorry. It when I say it like that. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, sensual. S it makes sensual. me want to burn a burn a candle. <laughs> Dim the hey, lights. Put on, put on some music. Put on hey, some put lingerie. On, put on some Kenny G. <laughs> this is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number four two seven. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. <laughs> and then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. This whole thing is like a commentary on video games and telling the player what to do versus letting the player do what they want to do, right? Right. That's what this whole thing is about. I wonder and how different this is going to be from the Yeah, like the how mod. much do you remember of the of the mod? I I remember like that you can obey or disobey uh, the, the the narrator. narrator. So Yeah. This yeah, I remember that general idea. Yeah. All Doesn't of his like co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. That's weird. Can, can I pick up? Okay. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. <laughs> I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, yeah, man, the achievements in this game are ridiculous. Like, I've been hearing about the achievements that you can get. And it sounds pretty crazy, <clears throat> honestly. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it, yes. Almost certainly, fifty clicks. You know what? You're not gonna trick me. No, 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 no. Store, huh? I think you do get it. You do get an achievement eventually. <laughs> you do eventually get one. Just spam that click. Get your two. Get your middle. It, your middle it, no, finger it, and your set, index finger. It's a set animation. Oh no, right. No, okay. I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? 417? Isn't that, that, isn't that our cubicle? What, what the so heck? Go back, go back the way, go back the way we came. 417, oh no, we're 427. Yeah. D dang, you stupid narrator, wasting my time. <laughs> wasting my time. All right, you know what? Um, okay, so where's the meeting room? Can I open this door? No. What the heck? Man, there's a lot of people who worked here. Jeez. They just all disappeared. Yeah, this is different from the mod. Like, it wasn't this big. Yeah, well, I mean, they've remade it. But was the? it's not like the rapture, is it? I can't remember what the mod's really... There was not even really a general story. I guess we'll see. No, there, there wasn't really a story. Oh, oh there's 416. We're looking for 417, the next one along. Oh, 415, 414. What the heck? Where's 417? Was this... No. Oh, is that it there on the right? Oh, there yeah, it there you go. Here it is. <laughs> Commence the clicking. 
That's how you Open did today. Store. Great. Now, uh, go click a few times on door 437. Oh, oh my god. god. You know what? Forget you, English. Michael Kane. But his Kane. voice. His voice. Dude. Michael Kane. When Stanley so came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right, this is it. This is the moment. Which path do you choose, left or right? I'm a little, you know, pissed that he keeps making me click on doors. So, you know oh, what? Oh, turn around. Oh, my God. Dude, turn around. Oh, what the hell? Did the door close? Can you not go back now? Yeah. You missed the chief. God damn it. 100% run failed. <laughs> <laughs> game can't be that long. What, what? Why is it just white? Because ah. it's like, this, it has to be in like in a Half Life, Half Life universe, man. Because everything is freaking the Half Life universe. <laughs> yeah. All right, I say. All right, let's go with the right. Let's go with the right then. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. <laughs> Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. You know what? I don't. I don't care. Can you can you go back on yourself as well now, or does it when you when you make one of those decisions, does it always close the door again behind I'm you? I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, you gotta live with your decisions. I shall. Oh, what was, what was on that monitor? What was that? Can uh, I it says in? Matt Visual is gay. That's weird. <laughs> oh, Doesn't it know well, you're we're, we're, we're going with those jokes, huh? <laughs> we're, we're going with the, the, the low blows. All right. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, blue room. <sighs> oh. Yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Yeah, but I can't drink, can I? Drinking and then subtly put the cups there. Oh, this, but this, eager this to get really back genius. to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, you know what? I don't need someone narrating my life okay do you really think one of these doors is randomly gonna open yes <laughs> yes with it. yes open the dang door Ooh, what stanley is... was so bad at following directions it's incredible he wasn't five <laughs> years ago you know what oh this is such a cool idea for a game this must have been so fun to write what, what is going on here hmm. I, I mean really how no one here? What what are the odds of that happening? I would say I think Stanley is just stupid. You think he's like the, the slow employee that just comes to work. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like It's Sunday, that's all it is. Today is Sunday and uh, he's come in for no reason. He's like he goes to the door and he's just like, Oh, um, it's locked. Oh, maybe I can just go in through the window or the fence and just climbs in the air vent. <laughs> yeah. we, we were described as basically being a mindless drone that only ever followed orders at the start. <laughs> and that's that's the theme of this, man. It really is. It's do you follow orders mindlessly? I think something crazy happens in here, though. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Can I fall? I'm not your enemy. <laughs> really, I'm not. <laughs> but in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. <laughs> Good <laughs> job, Stan. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Ding, 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 ding. That's yeah. the last question, Bell. Look, Stanley, really I think apparently. perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, what is stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Oh? What? Her? Who's her? Maybe, by the way, maybe you don't have to listen to him here and you can drop onto that ledge down below. Can you jump? No, I can't jump at all. Oh, it. As it was moving, it could have been a possibility, but now, oh. and now you're balked. Oh, dude, you're right. As oh, it was, you're I noticed so it as right. we moved over it, but it's up to you if you want to kill yourself for it. This is it, Stanley. Nope. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Really? She has? Dude, don't don't get don't don't, don't be uh, don't be seducted by the allure of a potential woman. Okay, <laughs> this is how they get all the nerds. Dude, we don't do this. But my we love. Don't do this. 
<laughs> my love, <laughs> I met her in high school. <laughs> Try that other door. Try the other door. Try the other door. You're a married man, don't it? Dude, 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 there's no, there's no other this door. This seductress. Okay, all right, go to her. She's been waiting. <laughs> where's, where's, the, where's my woman? Where is uh, um, um, what's what's a good, what's a good, what's a good name? Um, Tyler. Tyler? That's not a woman's name, is it? A woman's it name? totally is it. Why is it so dark? Oh god. Ah! That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach hey, out baby. to her. Hey, baby. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. <laughs> what if I don't pick up the phone? What about that? What if I unplug this? Stanley picked up the phone, oh! a white light engulfed what? him. Filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? <laughs>